I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 30th day of April. Now, getting set for the weekend here, which will be turning a little unsettled across the state with moist air coming back and a big trough off to the west. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. First off from the Gulf Shores. Of course, uh, all interest there watching that big oil spill carefully in the Gulf. Great concern about the impact on the Alabama Gulf Coast this weekend. Uh, there's the uh, view coming from Fayette, Alabama, up in northwest Alabama. That's the uh, Fayette County Courthouse. And in Dallas County, that's the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Big full moon helping to illuminate things there. Here's our western trough. Uh, last night, some big storms flared in advance of that across parts of the uh, nation's breadbasket. But around here, we'll be able to squeeze out one more pretty decent day. In advance of the trough, flash flood watches up for cities like Memphis and Louisville. And again, uh, we'll be watching potential for very heavy rain up there initially. And of course, that rain band will be sagging down here. Convective outlook today. Slight risk of severe weather. That is the standard risk from North Louisiana up to about Minneapolis, St. Paul. That includes Memphis, Little Rock, St. Louis, the Quad Cities. There's the uh, tornado probabilities running at 10%. That means there's a, a 10% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of any given point in through there. And that's a fairly standard risk. Tomorrow, for Saturday, slight risk. A little deeper into Alabama this time, basically along and north of Interstate 59. Uh, the risk runs from eastern Texas up to near Columbus, Ohio. And the enhanced probabilities are still way back off to the west. Uh, Little Rock, Monroe, Greenville, Mississippi, places like that. That's that 30% area. And then Sunday, a slight risk for parts of north and west Alabama, back into Mississippi, much of Tennessee, all of Louisiana, and also a slight risk up in the northeast, too. That includes New York City and Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. But this is really the greatest concern this time is for some flooding. Somebody north and west of here could see some pretty big problems. The big bullseye, 6.4 inches. That is a lot of rain. That would be north of Jackson. And uh, here in our state, that's suggesting places like Birmingham could wind up with four or five inches here. Now, of course, our most widespread, really significant rain would be Sunday night into Monday. Uh, this map is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Let's take a look. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. There's your trough down below that. We still think the day today will be generally dry. The uh, main convection off to the west and showers should form down south. And those will likely drift in here tonight. So there could be a few scattered showers around tonight. But again, the daytime looks generally dry. Tomorrow, Gulf of Mexico wide open. Uh, the heaviest rain should be a little north and west of here. Little Rock, Memphis, places like that. But no doubt there will be scattered showers and storms around. It could rain at any time, but it will not rain all day. Sunday, classic battle, a warm 588 ridge to the east, a big cold trough to the west. And down below that, you can see the uh, axis of the heaviest rain still well to the west. Monroe, Louisiana, Memphis up to near Indianapolis and uh, Cincinnati. And around here, this is suggesting much of Alabama east of I-65 could be totally dry Sunday, close to the ridge. And the farther west you go, you get back in the showers. But again, uh, I think still Sunday, the bulk of that will be east. Then Sunday night, it drops in here. And Monday at uh, midday, it's really beginning to move south and east to Birmingham. That might be a little fast. but uh, So we're going to maintain a good chance of rain and storms Sunday night and Monday. And that's more than likely when the heaviest rain will fall. And, of course, we'll have to watch for any sign of uh, uh, flooding issues there. And then Tuesday... A strong void max comes through, but by then the deeper moisture is off to the east and south. Uh, so uh, Tuesday for now, we've got it dry for the northern half of the state. We think the rain will be way down south. Wednesday looks good. Sunny and warm. There's no cool air involved here, so we're still talking highs up in the 80s. And Thursday of next week looks dry. We from today, you can see the core of the westerlies a little north of here. Cold front to the north is going to have a hard time pushing farther south because of that upper airflow, and that looks mostly dry. End of the forecast on May 15th, upper airflow light and variable. The core of the westerlies are to the north, and accordingly, the weather looks warm and 
fairly benign out there if this is right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And if you're local to us here in Alabama, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.